Time freezes for 48 hours and you're the only thing not affected. What do you choose to do? Try to infiltrate Area 51. Tales from the Loop did an episode similar to this. Except it spanned months, I assumed. They ransacked stores and fancy homes, caught apparent cheating and lost hope of the situation as a whole. Depressing series and hard to watch, believe it or not, compared to a similar counterpart, like Black Mirror. Simon Stallenhag is an artist and the series was based on the art book of the same name. HTTPS colon slash slash www.imdb.com slash title slash TT8741290 slash an Amazon original. Episode 3 for those interested. Other series recommendations. Utopia, UK version, on Amazon. Love, Death and Robots on Netflix. The OA on Netflix. Devs on Hulu. Black Mirror on Netflix. Mr. Robot. Amazon, maybe, depending on country, predestination, a movie. Dark on Netflix. 3% on Netflix. Be confused. I would jump from one idea to another and won't be able to start until the time's over. So basically nothing. About a half hour of not realizing, 47.5 hours of existential crisis, followed by years of therapy. Tie people's shoelaces together. Pick up all of the dog crap in my neighbor's yard and put it in her living room. And steal the Declaration of Independence, then hide it in Nick Cage's house. I would be a bank robbing mofo. I could amass one hell of a stack in 48 hours. Steal money from banks and replace it with Schkolate coins. Edit. Bruh I just woke up and found this WTF it took me like 30 seconds to type this. Have you ever seen Click with Adam Sandler? I'd steal a bicycle, because I don't own one, and ride around enjoying the quiet and stillness. Maybe an electric bicycle, because I'm old and fat, and in reality I'd probably last 10 minutes on a regular bike. I finally get a good night's sleep without any interruptions. Ask the Japanese. They made a whole genre of porn asking this question. I'd steal so much edit. This really blew up. Lots of questions about what I'd steal. Do security cameras still work, etc. Honestly I didn't put a lot of thought into it. Use your imaginations. It's a hypothetical fantasy situation. Maybe I'd just steal your hearts. Get beaten up by a 4D time cop. Steal all the fucking Legos I want. Walk around naked with no shame. Do a helicopter every now and then. Find a nice beauty spot. Drink some beers, whilst having some music on. A basic way to spend my 48 hours, but a peaceful one. Find every winning scratch off lottery ticket. Probably catch up on school work and sleep the rest of the time tilde tilde assassination time tilde tilde. Drink some sleepy time tea and enjoy some good sleep on the other hand. I used to fantasize about having a large wad of cash so maybe I'll first go out and go do some grocery shopping. Move everyone slightly off the ground not enough to get hurt but enough to realize you're falling making sure everyone is in the exact same position except one person hanging off of something very visible so everyone gets a weird falling feeling except that guy who really can't explain why he's in a harness hanging of two light posts. Masturbate on top of a skyscraper. Watch a TV series without my housemate walking into the lounge and asking questions. Smiley face. I don't have big goals haha. Have some fun. Change things ever so slightly like switching people's clothes, turning them around, turning cars around, put a dog leash on random people's hands. One time one phrases so many minds are going to be blown. I wish I could freeze for 48 hours and time would just move on. Have a massive panic attack cause WTF is going on. The answers here are a lot more PG than I was expecting. Edit. People are taking this comment way too seriously. Find my dad. Personally I know I still would not clean my room and that thought scares me. If time freezes, how can it be for 48 hours? As I say with every time stop post, prevent a buff Frenchman from walking up some stairs in Egypt. I'd probably be confused for a solid hour. Then it'd say I was gonna do something and wind up sleeping for the first day. 
Then the second half I'd walk to the store and bring back everything I could hold. I'd then spend a few hours eating my loot. Then I'd repeat, but with tech, but just small, untraceable stuff. And it'd probably pick the pockets of a few people while doing so, yeah. It'd hide it too. Then probably sleep until everything unfroze. Probably count the ballots in Nevada. I will walk on street and when I find someone using his phone I will take his phone from his hand and open Rick Roll on it then put it back in his hand and keep doing that for everyone I see for the rest of the 48 hours. Something something find a way to be rich blah blah. Probably browse Reddit and wonder why there's nothing new. I'd rob every bank I could find. That's a given. Rob every drug dealer, only for cash and pot. It's not like they're going to report it. Then steal all the toys. And while I'm at it, maybe pour a bit of fox scent in my ex-wife's defrosters. Pull everyone's pants down. I'd go shopping. I would hit all the big corporate stores and just steal everything of use. I'd finish my Christmas shopping. I'd steal a fridge and a few freezers and stock my garage with food for a year. I'd steal items that are going to be rare faves this Christmas and then resell them on eBay once time unfroze. I would hit the dispensaries and steal all of the weed. I'd take cash from all corporate stores. I would be set up for a long time. I might also make it look like my best friend's abusive ex had peed himself by peeing on him. <laughs> Rob a grocery store or a bank IDK. There's an Amazon warehouse about five miles away. This kid's going shopping. Aside from the very, very, very illegal things I will not mention publicly, I would go to Disneyland. Might be unethical, but I'm taking a PS5 and tons of games my broke self can't afford. I'd get myself a few games for my Switch and maybe get a new TV IDK. I would think about doing illegal things, but then I would wonder if people were just not able to move but could still see what I'm doing so I would be too scared to do anything. My husband would watch pornography for 47 hours. Procrastinate, probs. People saying, bank robbing. Now this implies the risk of getting caught. Just take money out of people's wallets and put the wallets back. Steal some stuff from the people who just got out of the store and steal the receipt. Punch a man in the balls to see if the pain will come after time resumes. Edit. Here's my reply to the people who say, I prefer to steal from a bank that's insured against robbing than from a poor person. Robbing from a bank means taking money that shouldn't be out of it, and that is traceable, my way of taking money from people's wallets would be looking for the rich people. I'm not gonna steal from a family of four that struggling to make ends meet, I'm saying that I'm gonna take that Obrogni from that guy getting into his Ferrari outside the Ikea, and some bills from his wallet. Also about the ball punching, after some research, I believe that the man will indeed completely disappear without even feeling the punch, but for science it shall be verified. This might be kind of weird, but I steal all the really good toys from Walmart that are on the hot lists right now. Not like, every single one, but quite a few. Walmart can take the hit. Then I donate all that shit to Toys for Tots. For I would make the grandest gesture to show the world that I can stop time, to truly prove it without a doubt, that I did in fact have control over time for 48 hours. For example, I would go around to every important government building and create a sign that says, FDOTT can stop time. I'd do it in front of cameras. I'd go to the country's leader's house and just take the most obvious object. Once time resumes everyone would be shook at how I committed such acts without ever being caught on video etc. I'd make the world believe that I did in fact stop time, and then here's the fun part, I'd tell them I can do it again, and so the entire world would see me as an uncertain threat. TBH this would probably get me killed ASAP, but if people are scared enough I could get a lot of power. So many politicians and CEOs would just disappear. I would slap a chicken 23,034 times so it would be perfectly cooked. Slam a road roller into Jotaro. Mom here. I want to take an uninterrupted poop. Finish my goddamn essays due in four hours. Rob drug dealers. What are they gonna do? Report it to the police? 
just completely erase any and all evidence that Jimmy Neutron ever existed and watch the world burn over trying to figure out this Mandela effect. Finally I can evade my taxes in peace. Say goodbye to my grandmother in person in the hospital. Edit. Actually I would let my dad have it since he has COVID and can't even go see her once she's in hospice. Let's say, nobody won no nut November. Have a 47 hour staring contest with a baby in a park before realizing what was happening. For the uninitiated. HTTPS colon slash slash u2.be slash qua 4mgn7 mu. Get 100% completion on Dark Souls 2. Would I know if it was for 48 hours? If not, I'd probably panic the whole time, thinking it would last forever, and not know what to do in case it started again any minute. 100% criminal activity. 1. Rob every bank that is open when this happens too. Rob Best Buy 3. Who needs new clothes? 4. Get a ton of gas cans and fill them up 5. More criminal stuff. I'd steal one person's clothes so when time gets back to normal they are now in Walmart naked. Na a person's integrity is measured when no one is watching. Put sunglasses on everyone I can find. Then when time freezes everyone suddenly wonders WTF just happened. Hopefully I would know it was happening and when it started. I am often home alone and don't talk to humans for days, except online. Accounting for that, I would just go get stuff I wanted from the mall and stores, and pick up some cash. Major canned and paper goods stock up. Batteries, booze, jewelry. Rearrange things in the stores for fun. Put hats on everyone. I can't drive, but I could well enough to do that with no one else around, especially if I borrow a small car. I would probably look in people's houses, not to be creepy, just because I am curious about how other people's everyday lives look. Rob as many banks as possible. I just wanna play video games man. Asterisk surprise hygiene inspection in all local restaurants, take photos. Asterisk find out if the neighbor is really using his large garage for drug dealing asterisk pet all the dogs. Take all the Lego from all the stores. Give orangutans guns. Fuck my enemies I am emptying every bank I can. The best revenge on your enemies is to live your best life and don't waste any thoughts on them. Remove a single sock from everyone that I can reach in those 48 hours and see it I can get people to think it's the matrix glitching. Knowing me I'd probably try to study but still end up procrastinating anyways even though time is literally frozen. Go to the bank and collect as much money as I can then live the dream life after the freeze. Probably dress in all yellow, maybe throw a few knives or two, drive a road roller, and just have a good time with the stop time. As a girl, I never go out on walks in the city at night but it'd probably stay out going literally everywhere I always wanted walk around at night alone and go look at views from a rooftop. Rob a bank probably. Then get 15 hours of sleep. And play video games for the rest of the time I have uninterrupted. RTX 3090, here I come. Thanks for watching. See you later.